What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got some unfortunate news. Apparently, Adam Copeland, aka Edge, for those who don't know, that's an AEW right now. Um, he ended up uh getting injured at yesterday's show. Um, if you guys seen the spot, it was um Adam versus uh Malachi Black in a barbed wire steel cage match, and towards the end, well. I I wouldn't say it was towards the end of the, uh, of the match, but it was like midway through. Um, I want to say Malachi Black was on the table. I think the table was wrapped in bar barbed wire around him. Uh, Adam went up um, to the top, and I don't know if he was supposed to do an elbow drop or something, but he didn't. And essentially, he just jumped down. His elbow did cross the table where Malachi Black was on it. But he essentially just landed on his feet. And it was just a brutal landing. I was like, I was very surprised he didn't break anything at that particular moment. I didn't even know how he was able to continue the match. Well, apparently, he did get injured. He uh, talked about it on his Twitter. So, we're going to check this out. This is definitely unfortunate. Um, you hate to see this. But that was just a crazy spot in general. We're going to check this out. He uh, posted on his Twitter saying, howdy. Let's see exactly the extent of the injury, man. Hey, everybody. Um, oh, Lord. I, there's no filters that can help this thing. I look like a bag of hammered peaches or something. Uh, anyway, double or nothing. Flew back yesterday. Uh, Malachi Black. Dude is uh, dude's an animal. <laughs> All of the house black, they're just um, really, really, really damn good. Um, and as you're about to find out in this video, I guess the house always does win because I gained two new friends. Oh man! I don't, I don't really like them. They're kind of like those buddies that uh, just annoy you, but they're always there. I don't know, maybe <laughs> maybe I'm a protein buddy or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, I've been feeling really good lately. Um, been having so much fun in the ring, and I got cocky. I guess is is what it really boils down to. And I'm probably a narcissist and an egomaniac, and I'll un unpack that one day. Um, but yeah, I uh, you know my my brain forgets what my body always seems to remember. Um, yeah. A little late is, is that uh, I'm 50, and I need to make better choices. So my yes. body pulled the emergency brake on me the other night, and and I ended up fracturing my tibia, um, which is going to require surgery. Don't know the time frame on that um, yet. Uh, Ruby's birthday's Friday, and I, I really want to enjoy that and and focus on all the positives that I have in my life because there's way more that than the bad, and and even this surgery. I know I know what I got to do. Um, I'll find out the time frame kind of next week and everything. Jesus. Uh, yeah, sorry. Don't really know what I'm going to say. Um, and I'm still half asleep. <laughs> but uh, so pardon your parents and all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, I will see you soon-ish. And uh, in the meantime, everybody good? Try and be happy. All right, see ya. My man fractured his damn tibia, bro. I knew something had to be broke. And you can tell when Gangrel came out there, pretty much, you know, after the match was pretty much done, he could barely walk up the ramp. He was visibly in pain. And kudos to Edge for finishing the match with a fractured tibia, bro. That's insanity, by the way. I, uh, I don't... <laughs> At least he was honest about it. His ego got the best of him. He thought he could do that spot. No. You're at the age of 50. You should not be doing spots like that. No. My man legitimately jumped off the top of the sail feet first. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, my God. That, yeah, that, that was a lapse in judgment for sure. No. 50, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Damn near at 20, but you can get away with it. He's done a lot of crazy high-flying stunts in the past. This is one of them he should not have done. I, when I saw it, I just instantly like, oh, my God. So I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. And uh, I hope he's, you know, hope he heals up, take time to heal up. But no more spots like that, bro. No more. We want you to be able to walk, 
<laughs> when it's all said and done. Spots like that definitely they they kind of damper your life outside of wrestling because we all know at some point he's going to fully retire for good and now be it. And I want him to be able to spend time with his family and have those moments with his family without being in a damn wheelchair. Because that is one way to end up in one. So, uh, yeah. Wish him a speedy recovery. Comment down below. Let me know, man. What's your thoughts on this whole situation? Did you even watch the match um, where, uh, you know, where he got injured? And, uh, you know, how y'all feel about, um, you know, edges or adam copeland's run in aew honestly give your honest opinion about it down below man once again wishing them a speedy recovery man and no more spots like that no more spots like that um aew is definitely known for just having the craziest spots done and i do think sometimes someone got to be in the back and say no don't do it even if it's to the veterans the legends that have done it at some point, you got to be able to say, look, bro, you, you, you're you getting too old. Please don't do this to your body. Someone got to be the one to step up and say, no, please. But hopefully that happens sooner rather than later. But once again, wishing it a speedy, I mean, Adam, a speedy recovery. But I appreciate all the love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See you on the next one. Peace.